Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Oxford Hinterland textile jacket. Oxford's Hinterland is their sporty take on the textile jacket with a laminated waterproof membrane. Oxford were one of the first companies to introduce kit with a laminated membrane that wasn't made by Gore-Tex. That made laminated kit more affordable for a wider range of riders and Oxford's decision has definitely paid off for them. Laminated membranes are a bit of a buzzword in biking at the moment, but it essentially means that the waterproof membrane is bonded directly to the outer shell. That makes it more efficient at repelling water and it means that the vents can be opened up and then air can flow directly through to the rider on the inside, which makes them really good for both wet days and warm days. That's the case with the Hinterland jacket, which has a sporty cut, but touring capability. The outer is made from durable nylon material and it has Oxford's dry to dry membrane laminated to it. It fastens with a YKK water resistant AquaGuard zip and the collar fastener is a popper. It can be adjusted to one of five mounting positions and there's a hook back here to get it out of the way and create more room around the neck if you prefer. The cuffs are simple Velcro wraps and they open up to create room for chunky winter gloves on the inside. You can also wrap them tight to get a pair of gloves over the top if you prefer it, but I found them more comfortable with the gloves underneath. Vents on each side of the chest and at each wrist and there's also one across the top of the shoulders are all protected with water resistant zips and they open up to allow air directly through to the rider on the inside. There are three pockets on the outside of the jacket, that's two at the sides and one at the lower back which has a side entry and they're also protected by water resistant zips to keep your contents dry. Those pockets are joined by three on the inside. One sits behind the zip and is always accessible and then there are two pockets within the main shell which are also duplicated in the thermal liner so you've always got access to three pockets no matter whether you're using the thermal liner or not. That thermal liner has an extension panel that means it covers all the way around the body. It just extends past the zip to protect you against any air that comes through the teeth of the zip. And it's also equipped with Polartec stretch panels that mean there's more flex to fit the sporty attitude of the Hinterland jacket. Also, when you look on the outside of the jacket, there's an elasticated panel to add a bit more stretch on the exterior. So it's effectively a fit adjuster without needing to adjust it on a band. It just automatically adapts to your size and shape. So moving back to the interior of the jacket, behind the liner there's CE level 1 shoulder and elbow armour and there's also room for a back protector but you'll need to buy that separately. There are links in the description for this video to the two options that are available. One meets the basic level 1 of the protection standard like the limb armour that's in this jacket and the other meets the higher level 2. Overall the Hinterland meets the double A grade in CE. Early batches of this jacket were certified and labelled to single A but Oxford then discovered that the jacket would actually meet the requirements of double A, which is a little bit higher. So they recertified the jacket and it now has double A with further production batches being labeled double A. They say there have been no design changes at all. So even if the jacket that you get has a label saying single A like this one does, then the design, the materials and the construction are just as good as the latest batches which have that double A tag. Inside the jacket, there are both long and short connection zips for trousers and Oxford now have a matching pair of hinterland trousers to go with this jacket. At first they didn't have a matching pair of trousers, but the success of this jacket means they've now added one to their range. Those trousers cost £249.99 for a pair, and added to this jacket, which costs £299.99, that's a total cost of 550 quid for both the jacket and the trousers, which is about the same price as you would pay for just the jacket when going for a Gore-Tex laminated garment so it's easy to see why it's been so popular that Oxford brought in their own brand of laminated membrane. From the first 15 customer reviews that have been left for this jacket 13 of those people gave it the maximum five stars and the other two gave it four stars. The kind of comments that come up quite frequently in those reviews are that there's no back protector as standard as we've pointed out and also that the material is a bit stiff. That's an inherent issue with the laminated membranes as the outer shell and the membrane move as one that means they're a bit less flexible than jackets that have the membrane mounted loosely as in one of those the two layers can move independently of each other and be a little bit more flexible. Whether or not you'll really benefit a lot from a laminated membrane really depends on the sort of riding you do. 
Riders who are doing longer journeys and those who ride day after day will benefit the most as the kit tends to stay drier for longer and it also dries out more quickly after a wet ride so it's good to go the next morning. If you only expect to be caught out in the rain here and there then a jacket with a drop liner or removable membrane may well be up to the job for what you need. I hope that tells you everything there is to know about the Oxford Hinterland jacket but if there is anything you would like to ask or to add then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.